Yo, be aware of real estate scams because they're alive and well. I just had somebody reach out to me very upset because they lost about $5,000 uh, on a listing that I have that was falsely advertised under somebody else. That's going on the market very soon. I've already started uh, some coming soon advertisement on it at pictures, descriptions, everything online for people to be able to see before it's actually listed as active. So whatever scammer it was, whoever this person is, they saw the pictures, they stole them and put it on Facebook Marketplace and advertised that same property for rent. So this young lady reached out. She was very interested in this property. She started dialogue with who she thought was the owner of the property to be able to be the next tenant. Uh, she provided very personal information, her credit information, uh, her banking information. She provided all of that and everything started going quiet from the scammers end and the reason i know all of this is because the young lady she called me because she's so confused and trying to figure out what's going on but uh she was able to do a reverse image search on google to see that the property is listed online one at a higher price and two under a different name so from there she started putting two and two together and realized that the person that she messaged is a scammer unfortunately it's too late they have her banking information she was able to freeze it before they pulled out a lot more money but they did get a lot of money from her a few thousand dollars almost five thousand dollars which hurts it sucks for absolutely no reason that money is gone so please be aware that these scams are alive and well and don't fall a victim now my advice is that if you're looking for a place to stay on uh, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, the owners will usually post it to those places. So try to get the deed from them, uh, or you can look at their land records online to make sure that they own that specific property.